Hi guys, Mike Martin here. Right, quite a lot of people are now using the evergreen site model, which means you can create one website, clone it multiple times and use it across lots and lots and lots of different websites and every single time it's always unique, okay? Right, what a lot of people are struggling with though is they've got the MPP bit down to a, a fine art. What they are struggling with is figuring out how to create schema inside of the home about and all the other pages where they can actually use short codes. Now, the reason they're struggling with this is when you've got something, I'm just in one of my sites here, I'm just gonna show you, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so when they scroll down, we've got, we, we use something here. This is like a head and footer code, right? And we've tried multiple different ones of these and they don't seem to let the short codes work, although the spin text and everything else works in there. So I do it a slight different way. So let's say, right, let's just check what schema I've got on here first of all. One second, this is just a home page. And that's running a bit slow at the minute. Okay, no. Right, so I've just got web page content on there, okay? So we've got the web page content. And as you can see, it says Auto Locksmith London Auto Locksmith. So as you can see, it's actually working. It's actually pulling in the short codes. Okay, now let me show you how we do this. So I've got a page open here. My schema generator, which is mikejmartin.com forward slash schema hyphen form. Okay, so let's say I wanted to do some service schema on here. Right, we don't have a service schema. We have a product schema though, so... Let's say I was gonna do a service schema on here because I'm a locksmith. We'd wait for this to pop up. And as you know, we have the short code, yeah? So let's say this was, brand was, and name could be, okay. Um, image, I'm not gonna put an image in because I'm not really too bothered at the minute. Say the thing was gonna be, 24 hour right rating five stars in fact this is where i'll show you the, the difference right because you can't use the short codes in the normal um in the normal one so what we've done is we've included the short codes in here we also want to include the spin text i'm going to make this a little bit more complicated but you'll understand why in a minute so let's say we wanted this to be four point oop, not 47 4.7 Pipe, 4.8, pipe, 4.9, pipe, and 5. Okay, and then let's say we wanted to use spin text for <clears throat> 198, pipe, 197, pipe, 58, pipe, 67, oh, pipe, 85, pipe, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to sit here and write hundreds of these out because you'll get bored and turn the video off. Okay, so you've now created your schema and as you can see, it's over here. So this is the schema. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy that. So what it's gonna do now, is because it uses spin text, but as we know with MPP, what it will do is it will treat it like a, it will treat it like, I forgot what the word is, like spin text. Okay, so it'll cut because it'll, it'll see this opening bracket here and it'll think, okay, it's spin text. So it's gonna try and spin what's in the middle of here. And then it'll see this opening bracket and it's going to try and spin what's in the middle of here. Or it'll spin, see this old closing bracket and that's obviously where the spin text is supposed to shut. So this is all we want it to spin, yes? We want it to ignore these. So the way you do this is you copy it and down the bottom on this form that I've created, you can paste it into there. And what you're going to do is you've got something here. You see this, it shows you open verbatim, end verbatim. And let's put a couple of lines in and click V. Right, so what we want it to do is protect this. We want it to protect this little thing here. We want it to protect this and protect this so it's not looked at as spin text. Very simple what we do. We just highlight that bit. We do that as an opening bracket. Copy that. And paste that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna... So this is like a little text area you can play around in. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the opening ones because they're the ones we wanna protect with this, oh, get back up there you. And we're gonna protect this one with that. And then what we're gonna do is change the cl closing brackets we're gonna protect with that, oops, and that. So as you can see, we've now replaced that and that. So as you can see there, the protected content goes in here. 
Well, the only thing we need to protect is so it doesn't spin, okay? Now what we do, oh, just one second, I want service schema. So I'm just gonna change that word to service. That's how easy it is to change product to service. Uh, right, now we're gonna select this. We're gonna click copy on that, okay? Come back over to the website, right? So as we know, we, well, let me show you. We can't add it inside. One second, I've gone to the wrong place. Right, we can't add it inside of the head code and I'll show you why and what it does. Okay, so we paste it into the head code here. We click update. And this is just a head footer, header and footer plugin. Go off and view the page. And what we're going to find if we click on the schema, but aren't to have a look at the schema. Okay, it's not showing. Okay, we've got a, we've got an un specified error. So we have the verbatim, open, close, and all that stuff. Right, well, what, what we're more interested in here is you see these little things here. See that? See that? See that your location shark codes are not working. So the way I get around this is I go back to where we've just been a minute ago, first of all. Get rid of that. Click on update. <clears throat> View page. Edit with Elementor. Find a place right at the top of your website. Right, just go into here, grab a text editor. Just a little text editor will do it. There you go. Text. Update. Now we go off and view the page. And as you can see, the scheme has been added. And when we open it up, you can see service locksmith near me, London. 24 hour locksmith in London. London locksmith, yeah, aggregate 4.7 out of 58. If we go back over to there now and scroll down the page. Oh, we can't do a different page, that's the central location. <laughs> I was actually gonna show you what it looks like on a different page. There is no different page because it's a central location. But now every time you upload this to a new website, your service schema will be shown to Google and it will be shown to Google with the short codes not broken, okay? So you might not be able to add it into that head code, but you do it the way I've just said to you and it'll work absolutely fine. Also what will happen because we've added a bit of spin text in here, as you can see, we've got 58 times over 4.7. When I upload this to another website, and we can spin all this as well if you want, the number will be different and the rating will be different. So every single website you upload it to, the, the, the evergreen style website template, but every time you upload it, it will be a different rating with a different number. And obviously the more creative you get with your spin text, the better. Hope that helps guys. Thank you very much. Cheers, bye-bye.